What's that name, bro, that everybody does? On TikTok? <laughs> oh, welcome back, guys. So, I'm back with another video. Please ignore my messy background, right? Make sure I'm looking presentable because I'm, I have some really controversial beliefs that I have to share with you guys today. Wow, my bed looks messy too. No, you guys, I'm like absolute mess today but yeah i have some pretty controversial beliefs that i have to share with you guys today and so all i'm gonna say is get ready like metatron said brace 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 <sighs> look how bro bro look at how defined my like bicep is bro i'm telling you but all you people who make these like those wojack memes and you got like you got you got like the chat and then you got the like <laughs> I watch Hamza videos, so I just know the guy, the Wojak is like Jeffrey. But you guys, you got the Chad and like the incel, bro. I'm the Chad. I want you to trust me, bro, in this video, okay? Trust me, bro. No science, no explanation. I'm just gonna say what I wanna say, and you can't say anything about it. Can't say nothing, can't question me. Don't ask me for a source. Okay, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> but I'm just gonna say it. I don't think we need any more ancient Egyptian samples, specifically for the debate about whether the ancient Egyptians were black or not. Because honestly, we already kind of know the answer. And if you have half a brain, you would know that the descendants of the ancient Egyptians are modern day Egyptians. Um. Now, I will say there's a lot of stuff that goes into this argument and I've already made a video addressing most of the Afrocentric arguments that I hear a lot of the time. And I've made other videos as well addressing some of the more ambiguous parts of it like race, when it comes to like assigning races to different types of people. I think the, and, and, and even also as well, like the, uh, the push back then for ancient Egypt to be a non-black civilization by European archeologists. So I don't want you to, I don't want people to say that I don't know because I've believed that the ancient Egyptians were black. I've used a lot of the arguments that a lot of people in the Afrocentric community have used. Now, I'm not saying I'm the smartest person. I'm not the most well-read person, but I think I'm somebody who figured something out. And I'm just gonna go straight in for the kill, bro. A lot of, a lot of people just spurg out about ancient DNA samples not being old enough, uh, not the, the studies not having um, enough DNA samples or certain things like that. And you know, these might be certain, these might be fair things, but honestly, if you know anything about African DNA in general and not just, and you're not just so Egypt focused, you would know that Eurasian, ancient Egyptians having Eurasian like DNA, uh, especially that related to Natufians, if you don't know, please check out my video why, why Afrocentrists are claiming ancient Egyptians and Natufians are black. It's not uploaded at the time of this recording, but it should be by the time you receive this video. But honestly, I even called out in this video, one of my main points was that there's a double standard when it comes to ancient DNA samples and just when it comes to this argument in general, there are certain inconsistencies. For example, people use quotes of Herodotus for uh, you know ancient Egyptians being black who lived in a certain time period and then when we get dna samples from that time period they that time period no longer is good enough so you know that's just one inconsistency but essentially it's like how how much can we cope how far back do we have to go now i will admit that there was some level of um sub-saharan african uh, genetic components in ancient Egyptians, you know, but that would have been mostly related to East Africans and it wouldn't have been that high. You know, there are actually ancient Egyptian samples on G25 from the Old Kingdom that show that the ancient uh, Egyptians from Old Kingdom had less, actually no Sub-Saharan ancestry. And there's a Middle Kingdom sample that showed that there was only a minor East African component, which was uh, it had some like East African related stuff it could be represented by Dinka or the Cushitic peoples. Now, while the validity of some of these uh, uh, DNA samples can be questioned due to things like quality of the samples and you know other things like that, and just the fact that the, these samples are unpublished, I will note one thing: is that the that the, they're very high in the Tufi. And so, for all of you creators out there. Um, who push black Egypt, right? Uh, I have a question for you and that is why what would make prehistoric ancient Egyptians 
not Natufian like if you disagree all right that's if you disagree because you know some people will tell you that the Natufians were black people which I've already responded to that claim in that previous video I mentioned before why are Afrocentrists claiming that they're black but <clears throat> but what exactly would make them any different to being Natufian like I've already mentioned how the admixture between ancient Nilo-Saharan speaking communities or ancient Nilo-Saharan like communities genetically so proto nilotic is how it's called in a lot of the how do, how do you say it bro <laughs> these like online forms these places with incels bro who care about this stuff the only people really or only only people who really look at it what would make it like any different you know because i'll be very honest with you um after n when you really think about it and you look at the dna samples of ancient africa and it's surrounding er and the surrounding areas specifically around egypt you look at the Ibero Mauritians who, you know, showed evidence that they had DNA from a Eurasian back migration that happened during the Paleolithic period with about like most of their DNA being Natufian like, um, which came from a source population from, you know, like that was Zadzuena like, which is from the Caucasus Mountains, if you guys don't know. And um, the rest of their DNA being Sub-Saharan West African. And then we also have samples in Nubia that were basically East African uh, genetically, but then also had significant amounts of Eura West Eurasian related ancestry related to that of the Levant. And then the Levant's literally bordering Egypt. We have these, like, confer like these are real samples that exist, you know, the studies exist, you know, I can drop them, you know what I mean? What would make the ancient Egyptians different? What, 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 what makes Egypt different from that? If, I mean, even Nubians, you know, at, at certain times had like high levels of Eurasian ancestry, even more than some of their uh, sub-Saharan African ancestry. You know, we have the Kajruka sample, which was uh, from south of Kerma in Upper Nubia, and um, later samples from uh, Christian period, from Kulub Narti. Just a question, you know, because when you really think about it, why would you like what? If, if, if like I, I'd, I'd be actually curious to ask as well if these if some of these people who push black Egypt if I could ask them to what what would be the average Egyptians genetics DNA composition you know on average like what percentage of this and what percentage of that what would you give them you know and why would you give them those results you know would you tell me that they had Niger Congo or West African uh, DNA Bantu and Central African DNA? Would they have high East African DNA? Would you tell me that they were Natufian, but then tell me that the Natufians were black? Um, would you tell me Egyptian, which is just like, you're just avoiding the question? I mean, I, I, I just want to know. Now, I think that both you and I, you who are watching this, you as the creator who might be spurging out, reacting to my video, or whatever you might be doing right now, sitting in your room with <laughs> we like we we both know what is more likely you know from a genetics and that's the thing that i like about genetics and ethnolinguistics it, it can cut straight to the point you know if you know what a kushite is and you know what a nilot is you know what a bantu is in the west africa you're pretty much you know you're pretty much um solid when it comes to african history there's obviously a lot of other things that you have to know and um, learn about but if you know those basic concepts if you know how genetic clustering works you know about how different uh, ethnic groups ethno-linguistic groups are grouped together you will be all right but anyways with that being said thank you for coming to the end of this video and uh yeah if you are wanting to take your understanding of the African continent and African history and DNA to the next level, join my school community. It will be the first link below. There I post a different I post a bunch of different things such as my latest scripts for my videos, I do personalized QA calls, give you assistance, and I also upload some courses in there. So if you're interested in any of that, hit the link down in the description below. Back to mewing. See my brother outside, bro. See him. I hope um those people in the car didn't see me, bro. <laughs> Might think I'm uh, was spying on them, bro. It's been super windy today, but yeah. 
Anyways, more flexible. I'm about to go to the gym pretty soon. And for those of you guys who always complain about this thing, I usually wear it when I have a bad hair day, which I have for a long time. I took out my braids and put my hair in the twist and um, I'm gonna be getting it twisted this mon this upcoming Monday. And I also bought and I also bought some new clothes. I actually should show you. It's these right here. I'm gonna be bought some new jeans and a long sleeve shirt. I don't know if you can see it. It's a small. I haven't worn these, but I kind of can't wait because um. Yeah, I'm currently gonna try out modeling and I'm gonna get my digitals done. But, you know, yeah, man, I hope they come out really good. I'm really excited for it and, um, exploring, you know, I'm gonna be exploring, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what I just did, <laughs> but yeah, man, so, you know, you know, in the last video, I said I can't live like a subhuman and not go outside. I've been living like that subhuman, bro. It's crazy. I don't know if that's karma or like what, whatever, jinxing it. But yeah, I need to get it back together, bro. Especially for these um, digitals because I don't want to have like... I've been getting bad sleep. I don't want to have like eye bags, you know. That's why like I don't really like recording videos sometimes. I'm always just like super self-conscious of like what I look like. Face doesn't look as defined. I don't look... You know what I mean? Just um, being self-conscious. But um... Yeah, I mean, I mean, besides that, though, everything else is pretty good. I feel like I'm just yapping. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, only if you, like, if, if you've been in here. Um, start off your comment with, like, hey, B, or, and then just type about, like, do you actually like these um, blooper sections? I feel like it's a way I can probably connect with you guys more, um, telling you guys about, like, what's going on. Flex more of my muscles, you know. I know it'll probably keep me accountable with the gym because I mean, I already like going, I, I already don't miss any days, but you know, it's always nice to like um, have a personal audience that you can flex on, you know, every single video that you do, and nobody says anything to me, you know. But yeah, with that being said, though, subscribe, hit the like button. Um, Join the community down below if you're really interested in. Honestly, just help me out as well. <laughs> but yeah, no. If you want to like talk with me, if you want to like um, if you want to talk with me, you want to re you want to take your understanding and research to the next level. Hit that link in the description. <laughs>